few other people uh, pick them up instead of pushing them down. Um, I see this a lot, actually. Um, in an office environment, you may have somebody who's been promoted above a position that they're capable of doing. Uh, rather than people supporting them, they hang them out to dry. Um, they'll see them sitting there late at night, etc., etc. Um, but also, if somebody's having a hard time, it doesn't matter what reason there is that um, somebody is down. Um, whether it's the fact that they're struggling with work-related, um, family issues, or whatever. Society loves ripping people apart and trying to destroy them doesn't mean you have to if anything i strongly recommend doing the opposite people remember stuff i've done for them 20 years ago um those times they remember mainly um because other people couldn't care less but from a personal point of view i always look at things that if i was in that situation I would actually want the support of somebody else. You know, if you went to somebody for help, um, you'd expect they would help you rather than go, I told you so. In the same way as... If you're in a position um, with morals and integrity, etc., you're actually looking to be the person be the better person should i say even if you don't like the person i mean i i generally don't um dislike people or have issues with the people unless they create an issue um at which point i actually want to resolve it um i generally don't personally dislike anybody um because there's always something going on with people i know um, years ago, the guy I was working with, the the guy that owned the company, complained that the other guy wouldn't work overtime. Um, the reason was his wife was dying of cancer. Um, she was terminally ill, so he counted every minute with his wife as the important thing in his life, because he he ain't gonna get that time back. Um, he worked to pay bills so that he could spend more time with his wife. It's as simple as that. He wasn't money hungry or anything else. But the guy that owned the company couldn't comprehend why the guy wouldn't come in and work. And when you sit there and say to the guy, well, his wife's dying. His soulmate. Well, what do you want from him? <laughs> and then you put it very blunt and straight like that. The penny sort of drops. And... It's sad that you have to take things to that extreme to let people know, you know, that you have to say, look, you know, leave the, give the guy a bit of slack. You know, he's not abusing your business or anything. He's actually still doing what you hired him for. Just because he won't work an extra four hours a day to suit you um, doesn't mean he's doing anything wrong. He's actually um, conscious of the problems that are facing his wife um he's conscious that his wife's life's coming to an end i i don't see how in any context somebody can put a business above somebody's life so but some people do um the main thing is not to become one of them which is why this is quite important that you don't become one one because it's very easy to do so because you're finding companies, they love running people down. You find in newspapers, everything else, they love nothing better than running people down. When you start going against the grain and saying, well, maybe they've got problems or whatever, you'll find there's a funny reaction. Because first thing is people realise they haven't even thought about it. The second thing may be that they're, they'll try and mock you in some way for pointing it out. But... That's about being the better person. And that's why this is important. Um, always consider other people. Because a lot of other people wouldn't. But you want to be considered for everything in your life. So it starts with you. You've got to be able to do it to others. To expect the same from others. Right. Thanks for watching.